September 12, 2001. It's the day after the terrorist attacks on New York and Washington that killed thousands of Americans. In New York, stunned rescue workers search for bodies in the smoking rubble of the World Trade Center. And in Washington, President George W. Bush condemns the attacks, which also badly damaged the Pentagon, as acts of war. Our country will, however, not be cowed by terrorists. 1943. During World War II, Nazi German paratroopers rescue Benito Mussolini, Italy's deposed dictator. They free him from a hotel in northern Italy where his own government was holding him prisoner. Mussolini rules a Nazi puppet state in the north until he's killed near the war's end in Europe two years later. 1960. John F. Kennedy faces critics who question whether being a Catholic should disqualify him for the White House. The Democratic presidential candidate tells a group of Protestant ministers in Houston, I am not the Catholic candidate for president. I am the Democratic Party's candidate for president, who happens also to be a Catholic. I do not speak for my church on public matters, and the church does not speak for me. Kennedy becomes America's first Catholic president when he narrowly defeats Richard Nixon that fall. 1953. Wedding bells for a future White House couple as Kennedy marries Jacqueline Bouvier in Newport, Rhode Island. 1977. In South Africa, black student leader Stephen Biko dies while in police custody. His death triggers a global outcry against South Africa's racist apartheid regime. And 2003. Because you're mine, I walk the line. In Nashville, singer Johnny Cash, the man in black, dies of complications from diabetes. The country music legend was 71. Today in history, September 12th, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.